Once he arrived it was the typical bondage stuff like being tied up, spanking and nipple clamps, although some of these johns were interested in things like pegging or wax, which was a little more risque. <laughs> High density big city residents what's the craziest thing you've seen through someone else's windows? Welcome back to another NSFW story time, hosted by your favorite narrator. Andrew from Alien Radio. Today's going to be a fun one, so grab your Anime Waifu body pillow and some popcorn. Also, while you're here, like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell button. If you don't, then you'll probably die of ligma. Let's not duck around any longer and get into the stories. I casually watched my neighbor do a line of coke after sorting most of it into easy to sell containers. Saw a crazy guy yelling at UPS truck, accusing it of being a Decepticon telling it to show itself and transform. He was literally punching and kicking it. It was 9 am. Don't live in a big city, but this one person in my city has a cardboard cutout of the my pillow guy in every window of their house. When I was 13 I saw my neighbor's boobs. That was cool. Edit. To clarify, she was in the same grade as me, we rode the same bus to school. I saw her drying off after a shower, boobies bouncing. It was awesome. Sort of the reverse for me. My significant other can't keep her clothes on, and she doesn't care about the blinds, completely assured no one is looking. Until one day our neighbor's blinds fell down. There he was, dick in hand, red as a beet and staring right as us. I once saw a person in full Spider-Man costume just watching TV in their apartment, mask and all. Like all night long. This continued each night for all three nights I was in the city. It made me believe that Spider-Man is real, but that he doesn't really have much to do besides watch TV. I live in downtown Toronto, and I've seen two people ducking out of a window. As in, the dude was inside, the girl's front half was out the window, and they were going at it. It was pretty ducking funny. Not exactly windows, but there is a guy who sunbathes across from our office. Twenty-something stories up, on his porch, in the nude. Every now and then in the summer the call will go out, naked guy is out again. We will all take a quick look to confirm, yep, he still doesn't know we can see him. The office has tinted windows, from outside they look opaque. I lived in a big city and made friends with a few guys who lived across the alley from me. They were out drinking on the deck one night when I got home, and they invited me over. So we're drinking and I need to take a piss. Walk back to the bathroom and glance out the window to see a fire on a deck. Then I realize it's my ducking deck that is on fire. Barge in on my roommate who is asleep at this point. Dude put his cigarette out into a cardboard box. It caught fire, burned through our deck and then onto the neighbors below. Ducking idiot. Not even through the window, but when I was at Penn State I saw a couple ducking on the balcony at about 3 am or so. That probably doesn't count though, because college. In Denver, across from where I work is an apartment building. It is well known throughout my office that there is a man one floor down that spends roughly four hours every day playing Destiny 2 while in his underwear. Recently saw him playing Sekiro naked, and people were more interested in his game change than they were in his lack of whitey tidies. He didn't seem to enjoy it much, because he was back on Destiny within the hour according to my coworker. I was smoking on a balcony with some friends when we saw something moving in someone's window. It was someone's living room and some kid, maybe 4 years old, had his arms out airplane style. He was spinning around the room so goddamn hard. He kept popping in and out of view, and genuinely lasted longer than anyone expected. I don't know how, but he must have been going for a full 5 minutes, bouncing off his couch every so often. By the end we were cheering him on. When I was in college, our dorms were basically high-rise apartments. One night I was looking out the window, contemplating life, when I saw a man and woman having sex in a building across the street like perfect view of everything, their bed was directly in front of the window. I called my roommates over and we kinda just watched for a minute, then we opened our window and started cheering them on. The guy glanced over, grinned and kept going. We were basically watching live porn. Right after college I lived in a communal housing situation outside of Nick. We all had our own bedrooms living areas, but shared a cooking space. 
about 15 to 20 people lived there at any given time, depending on who was sleeping with what. Most of us were in our 20s, give or take a few strange ducks. One morning about 3 or 4 am I woke up to the sound of running. Loud running. So I crawl out of bed and look into the hole. Next thing I know there are five guys sprinting down the hall in their boxers, socks and high freaking heels. Not just little kitten heels full-blown stripper heels that I couldn't walk in. Apparently one of the guys had found an ass load of shoes in a spare closet in their size, and completely sober, I'm told, decided to practice relays with some of his neighbors. Personally I just closed my door and locked it behind me. That was a strange few years. I used to live in an apartment building in the East Village in New York. I was on the back of the building, which faced two other buildings essentially forming a square behind my building. We used to call this space the shaft. Across the shaft from me there was a girl around my age at the time, 20-something who would never wear clothes. And she kept her curtains open all the time. I'd wake up and look out the window facing the shaft and see her cooking an omelette, fully naked. Sometimes before bed she'd do stretches in her room naked. In the morning she'd get dressed for work with the blinds fully open. I swear I saw her boobs more frequently than my girlfriend's. One night I came back from the bars and looked across the shaft and saw that she wasn't alone. This was weird because despite her nakedness, I rarely saw her with anyone else she didn't have a boyfriend or anything. She was in her room with three other people, two guys and a girl, and they were all naked too. They weren't having sex or anything, but they were all kind of in a pile on the bed, naked together. I still wonder what her deal was. Was she a nudist or something? In any case, that's the weirdest thing I've seen through someone else's windows. Not even super high density. Neighbor behind me in new build homes. Backyards are small, so his back windows are about 20 yards from mine. My house was finished first. I watched theirs be built, met them as they would visit. Talked to them and learned. Super religious couple who were engaged. They get the house on X day, but won't be married till the weekend after, so they won't take possession till they are man and wife. That's really all you need to know to know where I'm going with this. Oh and I guess you should know. They never seemed to understand the reason to get curtains. I swear to god I saw them duck, try to duck, learn how to duck, fail at ducking, occasionally get ducking ducking right, and one time do anal, over the course of their first two months. I mainly thought it was funny and just ignored it. One time I was drunk with the wife and we just watched from the porch. Wasn't till my daughter asked what are they doing? When we were all out in the backyard that I decided to take action. It was Christmas I gave them some curtains. In Toronto, I rented the top floor of a house. The house behind us was set back from the street, and the houses on either side were almost in front of it, so you could barely see it from the street. They had planted tall bushes and trees so you couldn't see the hidden house. But we could, from our fire escape balcony. We almost never saw who lived there. I was having a dart up on the fire escape one morning, and I saw their back door open up, and a guy in his early to mid 40s came out in a bathroom. He lights a dart as well, we give each other a little open palm wave and nod. A minute later, a black woman comes out in a bathroom, looking to be naked underneath, and she takes a drag off his cigarette. Then another woman, a white woman, comes out, also in a bathroom, and admonishes the first two for smoking. The guy puts it out and they all go back inside. A couple of months later I noticed the guy, the two women and four kids at the local park. Two white kids, two mix ethnicity kids all around the same age. That dude was living large on the down low. Worked at an agency in Nick that was right next to the Mondrian Hotel in Soho, and we could see into essentially all the windows. We worked in this location for about three years, so we had a front row for quite a while. Generally there wasn't anything interesting going on. My friend referred to it as flipping channels on a TV, you were looking for something to watch, but nothing was ever on. We'd get the typical people getting ready to go out, walking around naked, sex, with missionary Jack hammering for three minutes being the most popular, and the occasional naked dancing. Nothing too crazy, and most days when we left at 8 we didn't see much, but your occasional naked walk from the shower. But then we had crazy deadline days where we would stay till midnight or later, and that's when we saw the Dominatrix.
She must have been using the hotel to meet her clients, but every time it started the same way. She would come in, get ready by stripping into a latex bondage outfit and throwing a trench coat over it while she waited for her client to arrive. Once he arrived it was the typical bondage stuff like being tied up, spanking and nipple clamps, although some of these johns were interested in things like pegging or wax, which was a little more risque. Since this was her place of business and we were there for years, it became known that at a certain time, it was either going to be a show or we'd have to wait a week. Weirdest night though had to be when she had a couple as her client. Basically the wife just watched as she humiliated him, he licked her boots, she dog walked him, nothing too crazy just now there was a viewing partner. Except about halfway through the wife decided to crap on his chest and smear it on his face while the dominatrix was standing on his balls. I imagine he enjoyed himself, but we all recoiled in horror at the immediate aftermath. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.